This is Pastor Roger from Mount Zion United Methodist Church at Peach Bottom, and welcome to our Sunday message for young people. Good afternoon. We have a message today that uh, might you might find interesting. I'll ask you a question as I start. I always, you know, you know me by now if you've watched this, uh, you know that I ask a lot of questions. But have you ever read a newspaper? You know, newspapers aren't as popular as they used to be. I remember uh, I used to deliver newspapers when I was, this is back uh, many, 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 many years ago, back in the 1960s. I used to deliver newspapers in the little town I grew up in. But the newspaper often has, uh, oh, reports of good news, bad news, sports, weather, stories, things like that. A lot more, too. Horoscopes. Oh. But the newspaper... It's a great way to keep up with what's happening in the world around us. We don't have to just depend on the Internet or TV. But you know, the Bible is a lot like a newspaper. Ooh, it gives us reports from moments in history and tells stories of things that happened a long time ago. So the question this morning is, what if we read our Bible lessons from today like it was an article from the daily newspaper? So today's story is from the Gospel of John that we're talking about. And the word gospel actually means good news. So let's imagine that we're reading an article from the Jerusalem Times that I have here on the screen. And check this headline. Wedding guest turns water into wine. Sounds interesting. Let's read the rest of the story. On Tuesday, a woman named Mary was in Cana to attend a wedding. A large number of guests, including her son, a man named Jesus also attended the wedding. Guests at the wedding were reportedly having a good time until the host ran out of wine. At that point, it seemed like the happy celebration might turn into a disaster. Some of the wedding guests thought that perhaps Jesus might have a solution to the problem, so they reported to him that they were out of wine. And when they told, about, told him about the problem, Jesus at first seemed unwilling to do anything. But after some encouragement from his mother, he finally agreed to help. Eyewitnesses at the wedding reported that Jesus noticed several large water jars nearby, and he instructed servants to fill those with water. After the jars had been filled with water, he told them to dump some of the water out of the jars and take it to the man in charge of serving the wine. And when the wine steward, the man in charge, tasted the water, he discovered that it had been turned to wine. Wedding guests were amazed at the turn of events and said that the wine was the best they had ever tasted. Well, as a result of uh, this miraculous event, many people are following Jesus everywhere he goes, and many people believe that he might even be the long-awaited Messiah. That made a pretty good news story, didn't it? The Bible's like that. Lots of news stories in there about things that happened a long time ago. But you know what's really great about this story? Just as Jesus performed that miracle by changing water into wine at that wedding celebration more than 2,000 years ago, he is still working miracles in the hearts and lives of people today. Trust me. And if you will let him, he will work a miracle for you. And that is good news. So let's pray together, and this is a short prayer today. Dear Jesus, worker of miracles, work a miracle in us today. Amen. Well, that's our message for young people today. We'll do it again next week, Sunday at 12 noon, and you can watch it anytime. Remember, 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 like and follow what we're doing here on Facebook or our YouTube channel. And that way... Your friends, your online friends, your family, your brothers and sisters, your school classmates, whatever, they can see these too. And we so much appreciate that you do that. Thank you. This is Pastor Roger. I'll see you next week, Sunday at noon or any time after that, with our next message for young people from Mount Zion United Methodist Church at Peach Bottom. See you and be blessed.